Hello and welcome back. So, uh, last time where we left off is uh, we added our uh, products screen and also added the ability to add a product. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do now is uh, obviously add uh, update product. Alright, so let's not waste time. Let's go ahead and control D this to come here and change the whole thing to update product so now the function is update product uh, this stock tile binds to update product and while we're at it let's control D this and change this to delete here uh, product so that we do not forget all right so for now uh, let's fix this so we're going to get our confirm dialog right from uh, loaders Ooh, we have two we have two in uh it's actually from pop-ups not loaders so let's uh, change that because the pop-ups one the loaders one is a different one all right so let's uh deal with add product so add product obviously uh this mv uh, actually uh, i'm talking about the wrong thing Update product is what we are looking for. So update product takes the mod product. Now let's go back to our mod product real quick and uh, obviously change these. So product code, product name is that product code. Change this. We want in stock instead of username. We want sold instead of. Oh. Let's add uh, quite a few of these. We want sold here. Uh, sold. Uh, what else? Price. Uh, actually, we do not want sold. And uh, I'll explain later. But for now, uh, let's just, uh, just do what I'm doing. So discounts. copy discounts uh, leave them here all right so we do not want to be modifying sold because we are, uh, the products that we've sold will be tracked automatically so we won't need to modify it because uh, basically in the POS when we sell a product we'll also update uh, how many have been sold and how many are left in stock automatically okay so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's cool. All right. So we don't have sold discount, mm. which means we are missing something. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. That's cool. That's cool as it is so that should open up our update product so let's see if we have to fix anything or not so manage oh we don't have a product yet all right so add uh, some product code product name actually what i'm gonna do is uh, let's close this real quick and come back to add product this one what i want to do is i want to be saving these products as we go because i'm really not going to keep adding products like that so with the uh, open products products.json in write mode as F, what we want to do, we want to JSON dot dump. Well, what do we want to dump? User, where do we want to dump it? F. Now let's get this. Import JSON. All right. There we go. Now uh, this will be saved. So now, if I do. Let's just copy this first. Let's go to get products. And then we're just going to say if os.path.exists. 
what part are we looking for well we are looking for products.json if this path exists well let's uh go ahead and get uh, these guys so OS we need to import it and we really call it user well I want to call it product copy this uh, json dot load f like that all right so i'm basically trying to persist adding products instead of uh, them being deleted every time we add them okay so you can basically do what i'm doing now with the users and that will be your homework ladies and gents for now uh all right when we add a product right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do if this path ooh, what is going on if this path exists then we're going to get the previous products so we're just going to do products is equal to json dot load f and before products is equal to an empty list if this path exists then at some point we added a product so we'll open it and load the products that we added and then we are then going to do products uh, products dot append what we want to append well we want to append this product like that and then we are going to open this file again and we are going to save products instead of, of uh, just product and with that we are then copy this whole thing go back to our render get products right here and replace this with that so make sure we indent correctly remove this because we don't need it remove this user's reference and here let's return products just like that all right so now what this means is if we go to money stock we have nothing if we add a new product with some code and i'll call this new product and i'll add stock add price and uh, i'll leave the order date as it is click add product we have it right there right so now if i open this again we should have that product here and we don't interesting let's see why let's go here we have products and ooh something something isn't right so let's see what it is oh no json with open products to json in write mode oh no oh no read mode this is supposed to be read we actually saved it before but then uh we overwrote it here so this is supposed to be read mode because we want to read instead of write so now let's add that product again and this is why i'm adding that persistence thing because we are having to keep adding products over and over again and uh, it becomes daunting when you're still uh testing like this all right so 23.98 add a product and ooh, that didn't work let's see why if OS to path Oh, I know, I know, I know. With open products to JSON in read mode as F. And uh, this didn't work because there's nothing here. Yeah? yeah, definitely. It's because products.json has nothing. Oh, this is really taking time. Oh my God. Add product. Let's add it one last time. And this is uh, the magic time because I know this time it's going to work. All right uh 99.99 .99 because why not add product there we go 
now it should uh it should be there manage users and there we go all right so now we said we want to test uh update user so i clicked it and uh it's not there so update product mv dot product name yep we need to change these values as well so this is not going to be the user this is going to be the product so let's change that to product and the product here is going to be the product uh, it's going to be the stock tile sorry so this will be product name and then this will be the product code and then in stock well it's called in stock uh, uh, uh what else discount yes discount is discount sold is uh, sold we don't need that order date we need it uh, what else price price all right and i believe we have them all all right now that we won't have to enter that product again let's just click and there we go product code and everything checks out okay so now we need to come to this uh, function the update product function so let's not click it because i know it's going to ruin things so uh this opens that which uh by the way what's the callback set update oh this set update is not uh it's not implemented so the last thing we want is uh delete right so we're done with the uh, updates yeah uh self dot set update which is this one all right all good uh the last thing we want is delete product all right so solve the current user is equal to user mm -mm -mm. why do we need this all right oh i know we actually want this to be self dot current product all right and with that we want to create self dot current product obviously so let's go up here and do self dot current uh, current product and set this to none all right now let's go to do, 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 here and find all the self dot current users and change them to current product all right so keep a reference uh, do this here And then once it's removed, what I want to do is self dot current product is equal to none. Reset it. All right. So with that, when we're deleting this, we want to make sure this says delete product, not delete user. Are you sure you want to delete this product? Yes. Delete. Cancel. All right. Good. And uh, everything looks uh pretty good okay all right so for now let's run this and this should now uh, delete that product but it's not going to delete it from our JSON file so anyway delete are you sure console works are you sure yes and it's gone all right there we go update and delete we are done so as far as uh, managing stocks I think this will be it Okay, so we're going to stop here. If you have any questions, additions, or subtractions, leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, as always, I'm Sam, and I will see you next time when we add stock insights. This should be exciting. All right, cheers.